Happy New Year. Um, this is a recap of the 12 days of DIY because I meant to do this like at the end of the 12 days, which actually weren't 12 days. There were 11 DIYs. I don't know if anybody noticed or cared, but um, that's what I've done for the past two years is I've done 11 days and then something always happens where I can never finish the 12th DIY and I end up doing a recap on the 12th day. So I was on vacation for Christmas break and I just was having internet issues and uh, time issues so you may or may not have noticed some of the timing of my uploads was off during the end there. But I was able to get up successfully 11 DIYs, um, 10 of which I thought were pretty good. Um, I hope you enjoyed them and here's the recap I guess. So this is the unofficial 12th day on the 8th of January. So on the first day, I did the painted boots inspired by Margiela. Um, these were something that I had been planning to do for a while, and I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. I actually left them at school, so I can't show you, like, here, but I'm going to insert a clip right now. And you can go check those out. I'll be linking the, the, the links to the individual videos, like, around me here or something. You'll see them start to appear somewhere. In annotations if you want to go check them out and I'll link them down below as well obviously. So the second day was the uh, DIY origami type bag clutch thing inspired by Celine which really put my like engineering side of my mind to the test um, but I was pretty proud that I figured out how it was like folded up or how I imagined that it would have worked. I haven't actually seen the real thing so I might have gotten it wrong but I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, this was a little bit harder to show on camera how I figured it out, but I hope that you can figure it out if you try it. I also left at school so you can check it out right now here in this clip from the video. Then on the third day I did this sweatshirt that um, has a furry panel sewn onto it, inspired by a sheesh. And on the fourth day I was inspired by Saint Laurent and I did these um, <laughs> they look kind of weird like this, but these like chain things, jewelry for your boots, um, to add a little bit of girly grunge, I guess, to your footwear. And the fifth day was this Dior Om Spring and Summer 2002 inspired shirt. On the runway, they actually showed button downs with this like gunshot wound thing. Um, beat it onto them but uh the first time I tried that I actually like did this whole thing I did a whole beaded burst on a button down shirt and it ended up being like at a weird placement and it looked more like I was shot in the boob than in the heart um <laughs> so I did it again on a t-shirt and I'm happy with it, how it turned out um a lot of people said like that's insane that you did that much beading and I know um, I don't know why, but I've gotten like really into insane beading projects. It's like both frustrating and relaxing for me. Like I just want to get it done, but it's like so tedious and ridiculous. I don't know why I do it in the first place. Um, but yeah, I did like a, a whole beaded sleeve thing, anorak DIY last year that people were kind of weirded out by as well. But then day six were these furry mittens inspired by Alexander Wang and Altuzara. Um, and then, like, there's also furry mittens showing up, I think, in pre-fall. God, I can't remember who did it, but, um, yeah, furry mittens are, like, a thing. They're kind of insane as well. They look like monster hands, but I'm also strangely into them, and I have actually, like, been wearing these. <laughs> then day seven, uh, <laughs> I'd rather pretend we forget that one. That was sort of a half-assed, um rumple collar thing inspired by Prada. I was actually going to do like an actual sweater with a rumpled collar sewn in but then that seemed a little bit ridiculous because how many times am I actually going to wear a, a sweater with an intentionally rumpled collar? Although now that I'm thinking about it I'd probably wear that a lot. I just ran out of time that day and I was like you know this is a cool concept but you don't really need to like stitch it in place to do it so that's what I did. Here's a clip. It was kind of messy. You can just skip that day. Then on day eight was this kimono, well, doesn't really look like much here, but it's a kimono jacket that I did in velvet. 
and it's really drapey and cool and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, I saw a vintage kimono at like a flea market um, in the fall and I thought wow that's like a really easy shape I could just make that so I finally did. I did it in a velvet which doesn't, um, uh, what's the word, fray? Uh, and I really recommend working with fabrics that don't fray because like you can just cut and look it's there's nothing, no problems. You don't have to seam or hem it or anything, which is annoying to me. Day nine was another kind of uh, lame one. <laughs> I did the uh, distressed t-shirt. Um, I mean, it's not that lame. Like, I, I see so many girls who buy like distressed t-shirts, like intentionally. Um, shirts that already come distressed and I'm like why would you pay for that um I almost fell into the trap of paying for a distressed t-shirt like this with just all the little like moth holes in it and then I came to my senses so I thought I'd just show how easy it is maybe not like the technique because it's pretty obvious you just take scissors to a t-shirt but just show how easy it is and maybe people would be inspired so I hope you were Day 10, I did another Saint Laurent inspired DIY. I know I said I hated the um, fall grunge collection for 2013 when it first came out and like halfway through the year afterwards, but it kind of grew on me in like an I like, I don't know, I feel like I like it in an ironic way. And after seeing Sky Ferreira tour, um, she wore like exclusively Saint Laurent on her tour and she looks so good in it so I'm kind of into it now but I did these uh, jeans that have chains across the uh, ripped portions and then the 11th day the last day I did this embroidered t-shirt um, that has an attempted uh, like brain scan kind of design didn't really turn out looking like a brain but you kind of vaguely get the idea this was inspired by Christopher Kane um, a lot of people seem to like this one, so that's cool. So yeah, those were the 12, 12 days of DIY. Um, I hope you liked them. I will be doing more DIYs in the coming month, year. I have like some planned and I'm um, getting a lot of ideas from menswear, which is just started right now in London. We've got London menswear collection showing and then, you know, Milan, Paris. So that's exciting. Um, I'll probably do a recap on those sometime after they're done. And yeah, got some cool videos coming up, so stay tuned. Bye.